What is up guys? I am James and welcome to another progress video. I know it's been quite a while since I've made a progress video, let alone just a video in general. I, to be completely honest, the reason why is because I've just literally had like no motivation to play old school. And if you've watched Rune Shark's videos, they explained it pretty perfectly. Like if you have no motivation to play a game, it's really hard to make videos for that game. And I, you know, I'm definitely feeling that right now. It sucks. And, um, so like I said, you know, I've just really had no motivation to play. And also, I just haven't had the time to play. And so putting two and two together, when I finally get home and have time to, like, free time to just do something, I usually just go and, like, maybe sit down on, uh, like, sit down on the couch, watch some TV, and just kick back and relax instead of getting on RuneScape. For any of you who have actually paid attention or watched my progress videos, you'll know that um, I was 79 strength probably like two weeks ago, and I just now got 80. And so that just kind of shows you where my motivation is for playing old school. But I did get 80, and I promised that I would start making PK videos when I got 80 strength. And so probably in the next couple of days, I'm going to try that out and uh, see if I can make an interesting PK commentary, even though I fucking am not good at all, but we'll see if we can try to make it entertaining somehow. I don't know if, I don't know if I can, but I'll try. There's not gonna be some, like, fucking epic kills because I'm not the best P- Alright, we'll get that. And, um, so yeah, since I promised that and I finally hit my goal of 80 strength, I finally forced myself to get on and get 80 strength, which is good because it also gives me a new reason to play, so maybe it'll give me a little bit more, uh, motivation to get on and- go make a video, PK video, and all that. But the sad thing about it is, is that, I mean, inevitably, old school is dying, like, in general. Like, the whole game is just dying as a whole. Like, if you remember the first two weeks that this game came out, there were so many people on. I think it was, like, 50,000. Like, that's just an unreal amount of people for compared to how many there are now. Like, you'll log on, and you'll see maybe... 15 I think I haven't even checked but I think the last time I checked I saw 17 and I'm sure that was a couple weeks ago and so I'm sure now it's probably a lot less and it's just getting less and less it's it just sucks because it's really like there's nothing we can do about it and the reason it's dying is because we're not getting any updates like they're they're focused on RuneScape 3 and they're not going to give us those updates because they just don't have the content team and any updates they're going to put in are just updates that were already in the old game, like something like God Wars or things like that. Which, in reality, it's that's not going to save. That's not going to save old school at all. And the reason is, is because it's just no. It's not going to bring any new people in. The people who have came and tried it out are not going to come back. All we're ever going to be is the the group of people playing that we have now, and there's never really going to be any more. Granted, if they do put in a God Wars dungeon, it'll definitely give PBMers uh, something to do. So maybe that's something, like, the thing is, is there's just only content for PKers. And that's the main reason it's dying. That's another main reason it's dying out. The best you've got for PBM is the Cow Fight Queen, which, you know, it takes a lot of high tier gear and a lot of, um, like, it costs a lot to even just get there and get one kill. like. You gear up, get all this gear, soup up, get all your food, potions, all that, and you just go and get one or two kills. Versus with God Wars, you can maybe get a few, but it's just one of those things. Like, it has a lot of decent drops, you know, you got every every God Wars item is sought after. And so that's definitely just something that would bring in the PBM aspect. But right now, all it is is just content for PKers. Like, literally, you have nothing for skillers because you got the bots doing all that shit. And then you just have none for PBM, and so it's just PKers, which, obviously, that's not gonna, you know, you can't build a game just as much as people would love to. You can't build a game just off solely PKing. And one thing that's sort of a step in the right direction is that uh, the Dom Onion Cave, or whatever the fuck stupid name they came up with for that. And if you don't know what that is, it's um some guy that... uh. Like, he's going to allow you to fight previous boss monsters in your quests. And uh, it's it's pretty much going to be the exact same as the Dominion Tower, which is where they came up with the Dom Onion thing, which is, I mean, pretty stupid. They might as well just call it Dominion because it sounds half as...
as retarded as Dom Onion. Like, what the hell does an onion have to do? Like, I whatever, I'm getting a little off topic here, but it's obvious, I mean, honestly, it's a step in the right direction. It gives, you know, sort of another aspect of the game, but one update is not going to save old school. Like, there's going to be need to be a surplus of updates, like, every month, really, to keep people interested in coming back. Like, I know for a fact I'm not really too interested in playing old school. The only reason I'm really playing is because I love making videos, and that sort of gives me that push to, you know, log on and be like, alright, cool, I'm going to make a video today, have some fun, and then I've, once my video's done, I'm just like, shit, I don't, I really don't want to play RuneScape, just get on and play RuneScape. But, you know, that's definitely something I am looking forward to, is the Dom Onion thing, and it just, it seems like a cool concept, it really does, and it's interesting that we're going to have something in the 07 game that's not necessarily in the live game, because we're getting tradable items, like, we're getting things that you can trade to other people, versus, um, the Dominion Tower in the live game, which is untradable items, so it's a really interesting concept, and it's, I really want to see how it works out and what they do with it, but to be completely honest, I don't think it's gonna do, uh, it's gonna do anything to save old school, sadly enough, and so, for that reason, I honestly don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep going, uh, on old school, because... I mean, I've been, like, as some of you probably know, the new skill is coming out soon for uh, for the EOC. And I've been looking forward to a new skill coming out for, like, two years. Ever since the last skill, came, ever since Dungeoneering, I think. Was, yeah, Dungeoneering came out and I got 120. I've just always been looking forward to a new skill because it's something to do. It's something to keep me motivated and pushing me to play. Like, all this stuff, I've already done all this. I've already gotten all these 99s, and so I'm just here doing this all over again. And it's really hard to find motivation to play. And then also on top of that, I mean, I, we've got only a few months left before our uh, our free grace period where we don't have to pay any money going to end. And I honestly am not going to pay $5 extra to play old school. Like, I'm not going to pay $5 and then another $5 to play this game it's really not worth it ten dollars to play this with a dying uh like a dying population just every day just less and less people and there, i know people are gonna have the same mindset and so it's just gonna die out even more and there's just hardly gonna be anybody playing and so i'm probably gonna have to go back to eoc on that point and which i don't mind to be completely honest i never had a problem with the eoc it's just that there, there was no content like i had done everything on the eoc and I'm starting to feel the same way for old school, and so it's just, you know, there's no content, and literally all I'm going to be doing now is just PKing, and I'll make a PK video every now and again, make some money to go PKing, and repeat. So, really all it is is I'm just going to be on here making, uh, making videos and stuff, and when the new skill comes out, like, I don't know, like, a lot of my close friends that play this game with me, not my real-life friends, obviously, because I don't have, no, but... None of my real life friends play this, and so it's just like, I mean, my friends that, whatever. Know that I'm pretty hardcore into the RuneScape lore. Now, I know that sounds really, really nerdy, but, you know, it's whatever. That's what I am, and I, for whatever reason, I've always been so interested in the RuneScape lore and all that. With the new skill coming out, and it being based around RuneScape lore, it just really makes me want to get on and go uh, get 99 in that skill and just figure out, like, what it has to do with the lore, and I really want to learn the stuff like that. And so, to be completely honest, when that comes out, I'm definitely going to go back to EOC and get that 99. Granted, uh, it's, I mean, really, if you think about it, being on EOC is not going to affect my videos, because the type of videos I make really have nothing to do with the actual game. I, I'll make, a, you know, the one video where I just fuck with, like, girls or whatever, and it's really, I, I could do that on EOC. And I feel like even though people would dislike it just because it's EOC graphics. But in reality, it literally has nothing to do with old school RuneScape. Like, I could do it in either game and it'd still be the same outcome. And maybe the EOC would probably be even more interesting because I actually know where to find people versus on this. I have no idea where people hang out. And so, um, that's pretty much, uh, what I really wanted to talk about. You know, it's just long talk video i'm really like i said i'm excited for this dom onion cave i really want to see what that's about maybe you know it could be maybe i could be wrong and it's just the one thing that saves old school which 
I highly doubt, but you know, I definitely would love to see that. And I, I mean, I love being optimistic and all that stuff, but I really, really don't see that happening. And then, um, you know, once the new skill comes out, I'm probably back to EOC. And the good thing is, is I can still make PK videos. I mean, I finally got my 80 defense or 80 strength, so I can still make PK videos on old school. It's not since I have the stats that I wanted minus 94 magic which i'll probably never get because this game is just it's really i mean it's dying so but and uh definitely you know i'll probably keep you guys up on updated on my eoc stuff even though people will obviously dislike it because of the eoc i still i'm still surprised that we're that just as a community we're not over that yet like just disliking a video because it's eoc even though you clearly can tell by either the title or the thumbnail that's an eoc video yet they come click it just to dislike it, it just it, it makes no sense to me but anyways um i guess i got all the things off my mind that i wanted to talk about yeah uh so videos uh here soon i i definitely got some videos planned the videos that you all that everybody loves you know the on the runescapes the story videos story drawing videos and then uh the uh uh probably another one of those uh the quest for the pixel pussy videos soon too my videos aren't gonna be like different versus what i play but you know we'll i'm gonna make some here soon and also pk videos you know like that's another added video and uh my my rotation of videos archive so definitely look forward to that guys anyways like i said that's really all i gotta talk about so um i will catch you guys in the next video later bitches